So here we're given two points, A and B. A is the point negative 7, 2. And B is the point 5, A. We're asked to find the value of A. We don't know what the y-coordinate of point B is. But what we are told is that this line, wherever A and B are, that this line AB is parallel to this other line, 3y minus 2x equals 4. So we know that when two lines are par parallel, the gradients are equal. So equal gradients. And that's the clue to solving this. So let's first of all look at 3y minus 2x equals 4. And let's try and work out the gradient of that line. And we'll do that by moving it into a different form. We'll rearrange it where we have y equals some number times x plus another number. y equals mx plus c. And we know that the coefficient of x, that m value, will be the gradient of the line. So we have to get y on its own here. So let's add 2x to both sides. And let's divide both sides by 3. So everything on the right-hand side gets divided by 3. So we can now compare that with the y equals mx plus c. And we can see that m is equal to 2 thirds. So the gradient of the line 3y minus 2x equals 4 is 2 thirds. Now we know if that's got a gradient of 2 thirds, we also know that this other line, the line joining A to B, must also be 2 thirds because they're parallel. So since AB is parallel to this line, then the gradient of AB will also be 2 thirds. So we have a problem. We have to work out what the gradient of AB is. And we can use the gradient formula, the y difference over the x difference. Uh, let's look at the y difference. Let's use, so let's start with the point B. The y difference would be A minus 2 over, and then since we started with B, we continue starting with B with the x difference, 5 minus negative 7. So we've got A minus 2 over 5 plus 7, which is 12. So we draw that A minus 2 over 12 is equal to 2 thirds. And let's multiply both sides now by 12 to get rid of the fractions. We multiply the left-hand fraction by 12. That 12 will disappear and we'll be left with A minus 2. And then 2 thirds times 12. 3 goes into 12 4 times. And 2 fours are 8. So 2 thirds of 12 is 8. So we've got A minus 2 equals 8. Therefore, A must be 10. And at this stage, we could check with that answer. There's A, and there's the point we now know is B, 5, 10. Let's just check that that does give us 2 thirds for the gradient. So the Y difference, 10 minus 2 over x difference 5 minus negative 7, that's 5 plus 7, that's 8 over 12. That is indeed 2 thirds. So that all checks up.